<sighs> Hello? Oh, hey, Fabio. How's everything going in Brazil? Ah, oh, it's great to hear. Yeah, I'd be on board with that. Yeah, I'd be on board with that. Hey, Fabio. Just caught some people spying on me. I better run. Hey, guys. Just talking to my friend Fabio in Brazil. And he was asking me if I want to watch a soccer game with him. And I said, uh... I'd be on board with that. I love soccer. I'd be on board with that. Do you know what that means? That means that I agree with something. It's another way to say that you agree with with something or that you you like something or you're willing to do something, right? So he asked me if I would be, well, what did he say? He said, do you want to join me for a soccer game? Watch a soccer game together? And I said, I would be on board with that. But I didn't say I would, I said I'd. Because I'd means I would, right? It's the short way to say I would, <clears throat> right? So if you want to, like if someone asks you to do something, if you want to do something, you know, you could say, I'd be on board with that. I'd be on board. Guys, it's so bright, I can't even see you. Man, is it ever bright out here. Beautiful weather. Look at that, Be oh, there's the moon, guys. This is the moon, and there's the sun. Together. Isn't that nice? It's my lucky day. Got the moon and the sun. Beautiful. So uh, if you want to say that you are you're willing to do something, <clears throat> you can say, I'd, I'd be on board. With, yeah, I'd be on board with that. Okay, now, what does on board mean? On board, imagine like a ship. Okay, if you're on a ship, you are on board. That means you're on a ship. Okay, so imagine someone uh, says an idea. Okay, think about the idea as a ship. So if you're on board with, you know, that idea. I'm on board with that. Okay, now it doesn't just need to be a ship. You could imagine a plane or a train. Because if you're on a... I don't know why those three, plane, train, and boat, like a ship, um, you know, they would say, welcome on board, right? When you get onto a plane or when you get on a train, they say, welcome aboard, aboard, welcome on board. So if you're on board a ship or a plane or a train, that means you're on it, you're riding it, you're taking you're taking that form of transportation somewhere. Okay, so on board. If you're on board with an idea, that means you agree with it and you, uh, you want to do it, right? I'm on board. I'm on board with that. You can say, I'm on board with that or I'd be on board. Like if someone asks you, would you like to do so? Would you like to, you know, watch a movie tonight? Would you like to come over and watch a movie tonight? Say, I'd be on board with that. I'd be on board with that. Okay, now there's another one that's the same meaning. It's the word down. I'd be down with that. I'd be down with that. Or I'm down with that. Or for that. Okay, so when you're agreeing with an idea, you can either use, it's very common to use either with or for. Okay, so you could say, I could have told Fabio probably, you know, I'd be on board for that. I'd be on board for that. Okay, I th personally I think with sounds a little bit better. I'd be on board with that. But uh, it's, it would be common to say for as well. I'd be on board for that. Or I'm, I'm on board for that. Okay. I'm down for that. I'd be down for that. Down means you accept it. You you would you would like to do it. Okay. 
you would like to do it, all right? So if I say, would you like to go ice skating with me? You could say, I'd be down with that, or I'd be down for that. Okay, these are just slang ways to say that you you accept someone's you accept someone's uh, you know quest or request you know because it's not your idea it's their idea and you're either on board or you're not on board so you could say I'm not on board I'm not on board for playing hockey mark I don't even know how to ice skate okay so if I say hey you want to come play hockey with me on that rink you could say uh, I'm not on board with that I don't even know how to you could say I don't even know how to uh, skate do you know how to skate I know how to skate I haven't been skating for many years so I don't know if I've I probably suck at skating these days but um, yeah so you can either be on board or not on board if you don't like the idea or you're not willing to do it you could say I'm I'm not on board with that I'm not on board for that okay guys let's keep walking here down this beautiful path oh no there's some more people coming here maybe I can go down to the canal here escape escape the people let's go down to the canal guys try not to slip on this snow going down here um, <clears throat> wow. guys, I did slip <laughs> ah, I'm still slipping ah, I made it I made it down to the river canal slipped and I got snow all over my got snow all over myself the sacrifices I make to teach you guys English got some branches on my pants um, so now we're just walking on this nice snowy canal here um, so give me some examples of some ideas that you would be on board with uh, or you'd be down for you know which do you like better do you like down for or on board with so I would say the word down is more slang than on board with I mean both are kind of a bit slang but down is more slang okay so sometimes there's like varying degrees of formality right like if you want to say if you want to be really formal you could say I would agree with that or I would I would accept that or I would like to do that so if I ask you do you want to come over for a movie tonight you could just say yes I would like to that's how most English learners talk right they only know maybe one way to say something but in you know like in a situation where you're talking to your friend it's more common to use just a casual a casual way to, to talk right so I'd be I'd be down for that I'd be down with that okay so again you can use the word for or with okay and here you guys look at this nice rink should we go on the rink let's go on to the rink guys <clears throat> look at that oh wow Hope it doesn't break. Guys, I'm standing on the canal here. If it breaks, I'm toast. If you're toast, that means you're uh it means like you're you're dead or <laughs> you're done. And I'm toast. So if it breaks, I'm gonna freeze to death, guys. Hope it doesn't hope the ice doesn't break. Um so yeah, that's what that means, okay? So if you're down for something, or down with something, or you're on board with something, or you're on board for something, you know? I think on board, it's better to use the word with. That's my feeling. Um, but down for is probably more common than down with. I'm down for that, I'm down with that. 
both uh, both sound really natural to me um on board well, i'd be on board for that i don't know guys both are you know sometimes it comes down to like it's just a feeling of which one is more natural i think they're both <laughs> you can use for or with um you can choose so what this means is it's it's a way to reply to someone who presents an idea okay hey do you want to go to the mall tomorrow you want to go window shopping tomorrow the mall if you go window shopping that just means you go to the mall and you just look around at stores you know you don't buy anything you just go and you just look at what what's in the stores okay that's called window shopping guys should i go across here so many people out here guys a lot of people out here i don't know people coming from coming and going from all the directions here on this path so i'm kind of stuck here in the middle on this canal i want to escape from the people but i don't know where to go there's people walking that way and that way there's people walking that way and there's more people coming from over there maybe i'll just hang out here I like hanging out with you guys. Thanks a lot for joining me in this video. Let me know, do you, did you know this, this uh, term, on board with? Hey, would you be on board with smashing that like button? Let me know in the comments if you'd be on board with that. Um, so, you know, it, a good way to practice this is to ask questions to your friends. You can use it you know, in a question, not just an answer, right? Um, like you could say something, um, you could say, I think we should uh, have a party this weekend. Would you be down for that? Or would you be on board with that? Okay, so you could, you're asking the question, you're asking maybe your wife, or you're asking your, your friend or something like that, would you be on board with that? Would you be on board? Guys, what's the point in wearing a cap if it doesn't even... I have to, if I have to go like this, there's no use in even wearing a cap, right? Because this, this part is supposed to shield the sun, unless I look at you like this. What's even the point in wearing a cap? Maybe it's just for fashion. I don't know. So, uh... <clears throat> Alright guys, those people are walking away there. I think I'm going to go back up onto the path here. So, uh, you know, to practice this, next time you're, next time someone asks you to, if you want to do something, right, you can say, I'd be on board for that. That means, yes, I would like to. Okay, I accept that idea. I am interested in that idea. Okay, I'd be on board with that. I'd be down for that. Um, so, uh, remember you can do it in a question. Would you be, uh, would you be down for, you know, going roller skating this weekend? Have you ever been roller skating? <laughs> it's kind of an old fashioned activity that, I don't even know if people go roller skating anymore. It was more like common, I think back in maybe the seventies. I was think it was a really common activity for, like a date couples would go out roller skating I think I do know how to roller skate I just I haven't you know it's not it's not a common thing it's a lot more common to go roller blading like here on these pathways in the summer you see people roller blading roller blading is more for like outdoor activities you know here in Canada a lot of people do go roller blading nobody goes roller skating Roller skating is more like a, uh, it's like an indoor activity. I know in Calgary there is an indoor, there's a roller skating rink. Um, but you know, I haven't, it's one of those things, most people don't go. Maybe they go once or twice in their life and that's it, right? So uh, have you ever been roller skating? Do you prefer roller skating or roller blading? I actually, I don't know how to roller blade. I mean, I would, I would be able to do it, but uh, I've never, I've never owned roller blades in my whole life. Have you ever owned roller blades? 
if you come to Canada here, there's a lot of places that would, are actually very nice for roller blading. Like, for example, these pathways around here, you could, you know, you could have a good time going roller blading, like around this canal area. So, anyway, guys. Would you be down for going rollerblading with me sometime? Would you be on board with that idea? All right, so uh, try to use this, this, uh, these two phrases or these two, um, yeah, these you know, phrasal verbs, I guess, to be on board with something or to be down for something. Uh, they're verbs, right? Uh, so try to use these verbs. Uh, in question form and an answer form um, sometime in your English speaking and it will just help to kind of like broaden your vocabulary so guys with that I think I'm gonna go back up here to the path hopefully I don't slip on my way up like I slipped on my way down and uh, oh there's more people guys there's more every it's a it's a nice day that's why there's there's people everywhere should have gone over there crossed over to that side anyway guys just have to make the most of it right it is what it is can't uh, avoid it right now a lot of people out here for nice weather but anyway guys as always i love you so much hope you're staying safe healthy and happy and uh, from here in beautiful can you see? Am I shielding your... I'll shield your eyes from the sun there. So you can see the beautiful snow. So guys, from here in snowy, sunny Alberta, I wish you a great day, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV.